There are only five days left in the WNBA regular season, and just a game and a half separates five teams for the final two playoff spot. Here's today's search trend provided by Google. Searches for Nafisa Collier baby spiked 340% in the U.S. from August 2nd through August 8th. Through August 8th. And here's why. The 2019 WNBA Rookie of the Year made her 2022 st- season debut on Sunday in the Minnesota Lynx win over the Atlanta Dream, less than three months after giving birth to her daughter M- Mila in late May. The Lynx and Collier currently sit a half game out of the eighth seed and close out the regular season with matchups versus the Phoenix Mercury, Seattle Storm, and Connecticut Sun. Tough matchups at the end there. Who joins us now? Nafisa Collier. First off, congratulations on becoming a mom. Hi. Hey. Thank you. You too. <laughs> My first show back, your first game back. We're mm-hmm. just doing it. I'm We're excited. Doing it. I'm excited to ask you about motherhood and sweet Mila. But first, your mm-hmm. links have been holding down the fort and are in a tight race yes. for that last playoff spot. What's been the toughest part of being away from the team while you're out on maternity leave? I think just watching them, you know, I miss it so much. And I'm just like at home cheering for them. They can't hear me. I'm not like on the court or even on the bench with them. So it's just hard when, you know, I love being part of the team so much and I have to watch one TV. Did you always have Sunday circled as the day you're coming back? Or did you see how the season was playing out and say, okay, I got to get back now? (laughs) No, I wanted to get back as soon as I could because it's Sylvia's last year. And I really, I wanted to play with her for one last season. And during my rehab and stuff, they're like, okay, just prepare for Atlanta, prepare for Atlanta. And then we got close and they're like, I don't know if it's going to happen. And then I got like a late call right after shoot around. She's like, you want to play? I'm like, yeah, I'll play. So it was kind of a touch and go kind of thing. But I was so happy that I was able to get back out there. How important is it for you to get Sylvia into the playoffs in her last year? It's so important. Still has done so much for this league, for me, for this team. Um, and so we need to get her there for her last season. There's just no other option for us. All right. So when you when you came back, I know you said you got that late call. What was that process like coming back? I mean, I you know, I know for me, this is my first show back and I got the hair and makeup on. I put on pants for the first time in a couple of months. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like it's different yeah. when you get back into mm-hmm. it and you have to speak in complete sentences instead of baby talk. Right. But like it's yeah. different for you to be a professional <laughs> athlete getting back. What was that rehab process like? Yeah, it's it's no joke. It's hard. You know, as you know, your body goes through a lot. It yeah. changes completely. Your bones move. All your ligaments are looser. Like every part of your body is different. And so I had to get used to this new body. And I had to, um, you know, shed the baby weight and get my muscles stronger again and try to set my bones back together. So it was, you know, it's been a journey for sure. But um, I'm proud of myself. I'm not where I want to be. I'm not where I was last year yet, but I'm making progress and I'm just trying to read my body and um, take it one day at a time. You know, there's a lot of moms in the WNBA and in professional sports. I know some of the advice I got from other moms who made this comeback, right? Candace Parker gave me some advice. Mm-hmm. Allison Felix. Like, who's given you the best advice in terms of coming back and, and balancing motherhood and your career? Candace is a big one. Um, she and I are friends, and I asked her a bunch mm-hmm. of questions about how she came back because she had uh, Layla right after her yep. season so just asking like what her recovery was like I had so many questions I had no idea what to expect <laughs> um, and so she was a really great resource for that and she still is I still text her and her wife on if I have any questions about anything they're only a couple months ahead of both of us yep. their baby is so they've gone through things like right before the phase that we're in so it's really good to kind of have that I know I watched that Serena that documentary like four times when I had my first child a couple years ago um, yeah. And uh, and one thing Serena said in that in the documentary she did about coming back was like when you first come back you kind of measure yourself a, a, a compared to how you were and mm-hmm. there's a sort of judgment that happens like oh I'm not what I was I'm not what I, and and not to get down on yourself but to give yourself credit for how you are the first time back because it's gonna come mm-hmm. like it's just gonna yeah. take a little bit of time you just kind of have to yeah. can't expect it to come right away yeah I know I can't believe it why aren't we just able to bounce back. But yeah, well, you definitely, I agree. You can't compare yourself because it is so hard. Like I said, your body goes through so much, but I'm proud of where I am now. There's a lot of good things though. Cause I know, I know as a first time parent, it, it really clarifies things. It makes the things that are important, really important. It makes the things that are not important, not important. How is, how's yes. having me change your perspective on your life and your career? It's changed. She's changed my life so much. I mean, like you said before basketball was like, top priority in my life and now obviously she is and it really just does put things into perspective that now I'm not just doing this for me I'm doing it for her too for um, my legacy with her and I'm so excited for her to grow up and watch me play. Thea I'm so excited for you welcome back 
and we're excited for the rest of the season. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.